Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is my Hamilton Comic Con haul. Um, last Saturday, hung out with uh, a few of our friends from the community. 87 Bubba Fett, Mikey, Mac Hammer, Brandon, and Dark Nate Forden. Nate, came all the way from Detroit to uh, come hang out with us. Um, very appreciative of that. I know I have a friend for life with Nate. Um, love the guy to death. I love uh, all the all you guys to death. Everyone that I've met and I've talked to on Twitter, you guys all great, great friends. Uh, this is what it's all about for me is uh, when I started this channel was to reach out and find people with the same interests in comic books, uh, hang out, talk, stuff like that. Uh, once in a while, I like to express myself creatively in these odd videos, those shenanigans I like to do once in a while, but my main focus has always been about, you know, developing friendships and relationships with you guys, uh, views and subscribers, that's just bonuses, but uh, you guys are the focus, you guys are what really drives me to stick around and, you know, do stick up, stick here around on YouTube, but anyways. Uh, thank you so much, Mikey, Brandon, Nate, Ali, Andy as well. I uh, had a great time. So here are the books. Before I show you the books, I'm going to show you some uh, gifts the guys gave me. Uh, 87, Boba Fett, and Mikey hooked us up with the tickets. Very solid. Thank you so much, man. That was so cool of you. And Brandon, I picked up Brandon and he came up to my car and gave me this. He got this from Fan Expo. It's a Swamp Thing print. Got some amazing signatures down here. We got the cat. Charles Soule, Bernie Wrightson. Thanks, buddy. I can't wait to have my room done so I can frame this up with my original comic book art. Nate gave me some books. He knows I love the horror genre. Gave me some awesome Bronze Age horror books. But uh, just excuse me for a moment. I don't want to show them in this video. I'm actually working on a Halloween video that I'm going to be showcasing them there. So you guys, if you guys want to check that out later at the end of the month, please do so. But I'm going to show you something else that Nate gave me. He gave me Ninja Turtles number four. First print. This is absolutely amazing. Solid guy, man. Just incredible. So those are the stuff the guys gave me. And here are the books. Um, the con was okay. A lot of wallpaper. When I mean when I say wallpaper, I'm talking about those heavy-duty key issues up on the wall. It's wallpaper. Ridiculous prices. I'm at the point of my collecting career that I have to man up. And pay the price for those books. I do own already a lot of keys, um, but not the low number key issues. Uh, I remember the, I told some of the guys I was looking for a, a double digit Batman or something like that, but whatever. The guy was asking $100 for a piece of shit toilet paper copy of Batman number 80, I think it was, and knock off 50% to, well, knock off 50% off to 50 bucks. Ah. I can't. I wasn't going to do that. But anyways, uh, towards the end, you guys probably heard the story. We, uh, I was the first one to strike this place and get these awesome books. After that, ball just get them going. So I got some Gotham City Sirens. You guys probably, if you watched my videos before, you already own number one. But I had to pick up again for $2. These are all $2, by the way. So there's number one. I do have a few uh, extras in here as well, too, that I'm not selling because I don't sell my comments. I give them away. There's number two. Here's number three. Awesome cover. Here's number four. Oh, sorry. Look at that. Look at that player. Number five. Holy crap. Isn't that amazing? Poison Ivy there, number six, number seven, number wheat, number nine, I have this cover, number ten, that's a double dip, and I have this cover too, number eleven. And number 12, so much glare, but I don't care, said the bear. Okay, what do I show you next? You guys want to see? Oh, yeah. This is part of that $2 haul. It was actually marked $10, but I shoved it in between 
not on purpose. I shoved it in between the stack, and they were just counting. Two, four, six, eight. Little we appreciate Batman number three fifty seven. Jason Todd, Killer Croc. Sweetness. Fucking mint. I don't bag and board. Because I'm a reader. <laughs> um, Batman Cult. Found this at the flea market. After the con. There's book one. Book two. Book three. Book four. Birdie Rice and Gold. Right here, folks. Eight dollars. I'm going to burst. Oh, yeah. This was a free comic book that they gave at the door. The Kevin Eastman. Niagara Falls variants. Should have got a sign when I met him, eh? I hate looking over here, but I have to be looking over there. Oh, I know my eyes are gonna be drifting. She Hulk Ceremony Part One. This is from the Ten Cent Hall. These books are everywhere. This is not from the con. This is from another shop I took the boys at. I went to three shops, one con, three shops, and that was just scratching the surface. There's more to see here, baby. She Hulk Ceremony Number One. Number two, ten cents. The guys are going crazy. They were sweating cold sweats. John, this is your lifestyle? I'm like, yeah, isn't it yours? I'm like, no, man, we got a paper bag and boards. <laughs> Here's Wolverine, number 88. I got this because this this uh, cover is uh, very famous all of a sudden. And I do have some Wolverine comics that I started collecting so long ago. Holy shit, I look awesome. Fuck, I look awesome. Anyways. That's a great comic book, man. Oh, uh, it's getting dark. I don't know if you guys can see anymore. Oh, whatever. Uh, Hellboy, Lobster Johnson. First appearance of Lobster Johnson. Lobster Johnson. That's what Nate told me, so I picked it up from the shop. I'm going to fix the lighting here for a second. Oh. Some books here are mixed from the con and from the shop. Uh... More, when I see Batman Hush books, I pick for $2, I pick them up. So here's another six eleven for $2. I'm just going to slap it here when I'm done. So uh, number 613, the Harley Quinn cover, triple dipped. I think I have three triple dips. And a number 619, I think I'm missing this one. Or I can't find it. Uh, when I got home and started cataloging, I'm like, holy crap, I own a lot of these already. Uh, for the, uh, an example I'll show you pretty soon. It's a Suicide Squad run from 52. But anyways, here's Detective Comics 831. Do you recognize that gem? Do you recognize that? Yeah, I know. Holy crap, these are awesome. And a Harley Quinn number 29 from the convention for $1. I don't know. Will I ever complete this run? Not for the asking price. It's ridiculous. But so far I've been doing pretty good about finding them for like really cheap. Okay, this was confusing. I saw these for two bucks. I was on this title. I, I picked up Suicide Squad for number one. I love that arc with the Joker. I don't know. I got so distracted I picked up number four. I have number four. I found them after I got home. I have number four. I have number five. I don't have number nine. This is when I dropped it. I didn't have. I don't have number nine. Number eleven. Yeah. See, this is when I was. In, I dropped it for a bit. Then I jumped back on with Alice Cott and stuff like that. And there's number twelve. And there's number thirteen. See the order. And issue zero. And I think I have issue zero. So I'm all caught up with the Suicide Squad from New Fifty Two. I. That's what I did with New 52. I picked up a lot of books in the beginning, threw them away, and then jumped back on. Here's an example to my second issue of Wonder Woman number one. And my only, I only had two issues. <laughs> $2 for New 52. I'm going to sell this and buy myself some lunch. Justice League number one, another one for $2. But this one has a signature. It has uh, Jim Lee and Scott Williams on there. For two dollars. What's going on? My camera shut down. Okay. Uh, another confusing. I don't know why my uh, spectacular Spider-Mans are in like horrible condition, and I am gonna make a video of the complete complete run. 
But I got this. I got, I really like this arc. Goblins, uh, goblins at the gate. My two fifty nine, two sixty, two sixty one. Goblins at the gate. If you guys haven't read this, don't worry about it. Because if you're reading Amazing Spider Man with the towards a superior Spider Man arc with the two goblins, it's the same fucking shit recycled over. But yeah, here we go. Uh, I know this one I have is detached. I know these two I have are detached, and I think I already made a video showing uh, two six. So this is two sixty t two sixty two. It's detached. I I bought these from. I used to buy them from the grocery store. So I bought another one, and this two sixty three. I think it's like in horrible condition. I never used to bag and board my books. I was read them, leave them on the bed or whatever. But yeah. Anyway, anyways, I know they're detached. I'll find it. I'll prove it to you. When I do I actually do my spectacular spider run, I'll then I'll show you guys the shitty copies I own. Here's uh Supergirl number one, Michael Turner cover. Me and Nate were really on a huge kick with covers. So uh we said why not? Comic books is all about the covers, right? Isn't that why don't we like them? Uh ten cents, universe X. I don't know what this is. I just bought it from number one universe X, I heard some rumblings about it. I'll probably pretend to read it. Uh, wow, I did a huge Transmetropolitan haul. And here we go. Alright, ready for this? Not bagging board. Here's number 54. That's an awesome cover. 54. Oh, 19. Backwards. Uh, I'm not in order. 55. 56. Fifty-eight. Warren Ellis. Warren Ellis Trans Metropolitan. There's sixty. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <gasps> Towards the end. Towards the end. And back to fifty-three. <laughs> and fifty-two. We're counting down now. We we're going up now. We're counting down. Look at that purple. Wow, fifty-one. That's gorgeous. That's a nice one. Number 20. I'm going back down. That's a nice one. What is this? 57? Spider Jerusalem. I like Spider Jerusalem. And issue 59 is towards the end. Shutting down. Do you remember at the end when he puts the gun? Okay. Uh, Vigilantes. Oh yeah, the the the, uh, the other volume of Vigilante, the modern volume of Vigilante. There's number one, there's number two, and that's my segue into classic Vigilantes that I I'm most definitely sure that I bought. Who's tweeting me, son of a bitch? Um, number sixteen. I I I don't have sixteen. I think. And here's number eighteen. Alan Moore and Jim Bakey on Vigilante, ladies and gentlemen. Key issue, hot book. Vigilante, run through your story, grab it. Number 19. Number 22. Number 26. And 33. Look at this POV cover. This is nice. These are all 10 cents. Ah, that's pretty cool. Who does the cover? Oh, John Number 34. The glass. Number 49. This is when he puts the justice for mature readers. It's getting pretty rough. Oh no, I have, I have 10. 14s. 14, 14. The other 8 are in the basement, probably. Uh, another number 13. Did I show number 13 again? 10 cents, man. I just grabbed it. I would have bought the long boxes if I went there earlier, but there's a lot of hunk of junks in there. Number 11. And there's a postcard, too. Who will be 
be the lucky recipient of getting a postcard by me. I'm going to send this postcard to someone. Vigilante postcard. Right there. <laughs> Those are awesome. Does Travis like Vigilante? I don't know. But I know Dr. Monkey Ball likes these indies that are coming up soon. Number 10. And then off to Suicide Squad. Original volume. The one that suffered my S's got into this huge water damage in my basement. I'm at 50 minutes. Hurry up, John! Look at that one. I'm 22. I'd have to see 21. And I'm 25. Listen up, brother. Okay. If you're still sticking around, kudos to you. Because I know how much you all love haul videos. Look at these. Here's time for the weird 80s indies. I got Malibu Sun, number 24, Raver. And I got the first edition, Chromium. Done by Star Trek's Walter Koenig. <clears throat> I could care less, and I don't know who it is because I'm not a nerd. But I opened it up, and there is his signature right there. Just kidding. I know who it is. It's Boner's father from Growing Pains. Right? Isn't that Boner's father from Growing Pains? That's what he's most known for. No give two shits. Awesome. Right here. Charles Dixon, Judith Hunt, and Evangeline. Look at this painted cover sci-fi. Post-apocalyptic. Let's look at the interiors. That's why I didn't bag and board. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm all into now. Dr. Monkeybot's on this kick, so am I. We love these 80s indies. The Lunatic Fringe. Hey, here, Mr. CDC, here's a fringe book. The Lunatic Fringe. Like innovation. There's Al Bundy right there. I don't know who the hell that is. Looks like him. We got Junkies by Fleetway Quality Comics. Some art. You want to see some art? There you go. Here's a splash page. Oh my god, how did this get in here? Preacher number 16. Really awesome issue. First appearance of the camel toe. Right there. CGC, this baby. Doomsday Squad. This is a reprinted uh, featuring classic art from John Byrne. I do have a lot of Doomsday Squads. Actually, I think I was the only one who pulled that new uh, Doomsday that John Byrne put out, which was loosely based on The Walking Dead for some other reason. I didn't like too much. Uh, Hero Graphics, The Rose. Check out that in the 80s. 80s hair right there. Look at that cover. You want to see the interiors? I know Al Riachi wants to see the interiors. Here we go. There's a fat Elvis for you, buddy. Done in nice heavy inks. We got some Chaos of Chains. The Rook, starring Vampirella. Cool. All these number ones, by the way. These are all number ones, guys. Amazing Comics. The Figments. Look at that. I'll open it up for you as well. Let's check this out. Uh, I'm going to try to find a good page for you. Oh, well. There you go. I'll just show you this. Right here. I like these. I, I, I know I keep on saying the same thing over, but I like this stuff. Mr. Beats number one. Two Fists of Dead. Uh, actually, super special. More damn comics. Ooh, I just saw a cool page. I'm going to open up to it. Mr. Beats. Now that's sweet. He's beating on the beatnik. 19 minutes. Hurry up, John. It's a race, man. They're going to shut you down. They're going to change it. They're going to turn off your, your video and change your channel. Uh, man, this is pretty damn cool. Anyways, I can't find that splash page anymore. Or whatever. Oh, that's another page. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyways, that's something. Black and white. Atomic Man Comics. Blackburn Publishing. Cover looked nasty, so I had to get it. Some 8-bit graphics right there. Naughty Bits, number 11. Roberta Gregory's. Gregory's. Some cool art in here. A lot of... Holy crap, massive speed fillers. There you go. No! 
No. Johnny Quest from Comico. There's a little boy from Indiana Jones. We have Quiet City, Issue 1, Warren Ellis. Travis, I think, is a huge fan of Warren Ellis. Well, I don't know. I think that's what I heard. I don't watch his videos. Wow, some damn good art in here, man. Look at this. That's pretty damn cool. Laura McEwen. Some Hughes Lady Death. We got the Chromium. And we got the Flats. Yeah, right. Take it easy. Have them with the cover. Comparing to the Chromium one. Relax. There's Prowler, first issue action from Eclipse Comics. Some Batman and Robin action going on there. Cool. Oh wow! The Crow and Razor. Nate made fun of me when I picked this up. I'm like, what? who the F are you to talk shit about me when I pick up? This is incredible stuff. See, guys? Nate was trolling me over this book, laughing. <laughs> really? Go over to Nate and tell him, what the F are you thinking, man? John did well. He knows what he likes. Leave him alone. Cyber Rad. It doesn't really matter. That's cool. You want to see the art in this, Adam? Because I know Adam's the only one watching this. Sharon, Sharon, it's me. It's me, Ozzy. <laughs> Looks like a young Ozzy Osbourne. D and Agents. Number one. Some Danger Girl. Phil Miller cover. That is nice. Hawaiian Punch. And I got Jenna Jameson, Shadow Hunter. This is bathroom reading, by the way. Jenna Jameson, I got it because of the Barbarella comparison. Check it out. Look at the Barbarella stuff. I love Barbarella. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, right there. That is nice art. Whatever, man. That is beautiful. And Gate Crashers, Amanda Condor variant, number one. This was a four issue mini done by Wade Palmiotti and Connor. Um, I don't think they, I heard rumors that they're going to bring it back. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is the variant, the Manicana variant. I think issue number three or four? Wait, it was a six issue mini. Did I say four? Six issue mini, I think. I don't know, man, whatever. But anyways, I think it's issue four. It has an awesome sci fi pulp style cover to it. Uh, I don't know who did it. And last but not least, 10 cents, our comics premiere. First appearance of the Lenticular cover. First appearance of. Future Zen's DC's hologram stuff. Ten cents, a hundred and sixty-nine bucks. Plowed through in twenty-three minutes. New world record. I'm the champion. I've met most of you in life. I've met mo. I. I'm just rambling now. Anyways, thanks so much for checking it out. Thank you for. Thank you to Brandon, Mikey, and Nate. Thanks so much for a wonderful weekend. And Allie and Andy, nice meeting you too. See you later, guys. And stay tuned for a Halloween special. Starring...